In just a handful of hours, we're expecting to get a critical ruling from the Florida State Supreme Court that could have major implications for the general election. Today is the deadline for the justices there to rule on whether Amendment 4, or the abortion measure, will make it on the ballot. It's a major decision that could fuel turnout and influence messaging ahead of Election Day. NBC's Marissa Parra is on the ground in Miami. What exactly, Marissa, are the stakes here, and what's it like there? Hey, Chris. So I'll start out by pointing out that this proposed ballot initiative would allow Florida voters to decide whether or not to protect abortion until, quote, viability. That's around 24 weeks specifically. Um, but on the ground here, I would not say that it is top of mind for people walking on the streets here. I, I actually haven't found anyone that was already previously aware that today could be the day that they find out if abortion is on the ballot to begin with. But what I did find, Chris, is every single person I've spoken to does have a very strong opinion opinion on abortion altogether. And so I want to take you to some of what we heard. These are two friends. The first person you'll hear from is a Democrat. The second person, a self-identified Republican. I'm finding hard to believe that in 2024, we're still arguing about this because this should have been resolved in 1973. I think abortion is a very uh, delicate topic, but I think it's something that a woman has to have her rights to make that choice and what's best for her. Um, it's not something that I think that should be politicized. Will it impact your vote if your Republican candidate does not believe in abortion rights? It would be a strong consideration, I would say. Okay, so what you heard from, uh, again, you heard from a Democrat to begin with, the second man, not the same friend I was thinking of, but also a Republican. And what you heard I thought was very interesting and is actually something I've heard several times is a Republican in Florida saying and expressing that they could break from party lines depending on uh, who they have to choose from and what is happening in terms of abortion on the ballot. That's the big question today. Um, but remember, we're in Miami-Dade County. This is a slightly more or, or very much so more progressive area than other parts of the state. We've seen far more conservative counties in this state. So if you go to a different county, you might hear something more along the lines of this. If the Florida Supreme Court does indeed disqualify uh, the amendment, I think it's an answer to many, many people's prayers. Now, that was Andrew Shervel. He is an executive director with Florida Voice for the Unborn. So, Chris, now you've heard the different opinions here, but I really want to point something out that's so interesting and important. Um, we are also waiting for a separate ruling from the Florida Supreme Court that would decide whether or not the present 15-week abortion ban is constitutional. That ruling could come any time between this week. It could come this summer. If they decide it is constitutional, that would automatically trigger a six-week abortion ban that would go into effect 30 days later. So today is significant because, hypothetically speaking, depending on all of the outcomes here, there's several possibilities. We could see a world where Florida goes from a 15 week abortion ban to a six week abortion ban that could then get overturned by voters in November to that roughly 24 week abortion ban. And that is all dependent on whether or not the Florida Supreme Court decides that voters can have a direct say at all. Thank you so much for that, Marissa. Also with us, former Florida Republican Congressman Carlos Corbello. Look, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, uh, there was a lot of conversation about how much confusion, how many lawsuits it was going to produce. This is a perfect example of that. We've seen also how impactful abortion measures have been to galvanize voters after the fall of Roe. Just throwing it out there, is there any thought that when you have two cases like this, one that could be unfolding right as people start paying closer attention right to the 2024 race, that it could influence the outcome. Or is this a Republican state that is, frankly, Donald Trump's? It's done. Well, Chris, Democrats are optimistic that no matter what happens today at the Florida Supreme Court, that this is going to be an issue that is going to help them in the fall. If the court allows this language uh, to go to the ballot, then Democrats are going to use that to motivate voter turnout. If the court doesn't allow the language to go to the ballot, Florida Democrats are going to make the case that they need to elect more Democrats and therefore people should turn out. We've seen all over the country uh, that the abortion issue has hurt Republicans. It has helped Democrats ever since uh, Roe was overturned. So Democrats are hopeful that they can get a boost in Florida, a state where they've been on defense for a long time now and where Donald Trump is a heavy 
favorite to win. Uh, can this issue topple Donald Trump in Florida? That would be very difficult, Chris. Could it help some Democrats down ballot? That's more of a possibility. Yeah, and you know this state well, and you know saying Republicans, they don't, it's not a monolith, right? But Floridians Protecting Freedom, which is the group leading the ballot effort, collected nearly a million validated signatures of registered voters who want this on the November ballot. At least 150,000 of those came from registered Republicans. So that is, to your point, I do wonder, though, is there a world where Republican voters say yes to a ballot initiative like this on abortion, but still vote Republican down the line? That's right. I think you could see a lot of ticket splitting. I think, in fact, if uh, the ballot does make the language, you could see a lot of those Republicans voting for Donald Trump and also uh, voting to enshrine abortion rights in the Florida Constitution. This has happened in other conservative states. So it's really hard to tell exactly how this is going to shake out. But the bottom line is that politically, it does give Democrats some options, some paths to recovering some of the ground that they've lost in Florida in recent years. Former Congressman Carlos Corbello, thank you so much for that. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.